Hello, my name is Perry Krug and I'm a systems engineer with Gear 6. Today I'm going to walk you through downloading and setting up a Gear 6 virtual appliance within VMware's VM Player. The first step is to obtain the latest copy of the Gear 6 virtual appliance. This can be done by navigating to http colon forward slash forward slash www.gear6.com forward slash trial and filling out the registration form. Once that's complete, you can click on the download link. The whole image is about 100 megabytes, so it may take a few minutes to download. This image is designed to run within VMware's free VM player, which is available for download from their site. Once you've got the VM player installed, simply unzip the Gear 6 virtual appliance and select it to be opened by VM player. The initial setup process is all automatic and takes about 5 minutes on a fairly powerful piece of server hardware. It may take longer depending on the underlying host that you're running this on. Once complete, you will be presented with a login prompt. Simply type admin, followed by enter, and you'll be taken into our CLI. The image will try to get a DHCP address by default, but you can apply a static one as well. Looking here, we can see that the IP address assigned by DHCP is 10.1.11.199. At this point, it's best to initiate an SSH session to that IP address. Using PuTTY, you can SSH to that IP address using the username admin. Once logged in, type enable, followed by enter, followed by configure terminal, followed by enter. You need to enter a cluster ID and license key that will be provided by Gear 6. Once that's complete, you can visit our web GUI at the same address. The login defaults to admin and there's no password. To get started here, simply click on the memcache link on the left hand side and then click add new memcache service. This will open a quick wizard and you can leave the defaults in there for now. Enter a name for the service and click OK. This creates a logical container whose parameters will be used when creating memcache serve instances. To add an instance, simply click Add Instance and enter an IP address. This IP address must be a new one. Clicking Enable will start memcache listening on this IP. You can verify this by telnetting to the IP address on the default port of 11211 and typing STATS. You can also click on the link to this IP or hostname to enter into our stats proxy interface. Here you can see all the statistics coming out of the memcache server. Lastly, clicking on statistics on the left hand side will bring up the page where the last hour's worth of memcache statistics will be graphed. Once there is some traffic, this main graph will display the number of hits, misses, sets, and evictions per second that the service has been doing. This has been a quick getting started guide to using the virtual appliance. The code here is an exact copy of our commercial distribution and I encourage you to download the image for yourself and explore all that we have to offer. Look for upcoming screencasts showing more features and usage of the virtual appliance. Thank you so much and take care.